I'm going to put a little streak of water on the table and beside it a little streak of rubbing alcohol. They're both about the same size and I'm timing this on my stopwatch to see how long it takes for each of them to dry. Notice the rubbing alcohol spreading out some, whereas the water, because of the cohesive properties, is staying close together. Again, it's the water on the left and the rubbing alcohol on the right. rubbing alcohol had spread to this size here and now it's definitely smaller. The water hasn't really changed much. Again, the water hasn't changed. The rubbing alcohol is definitely drying faster. And we're a little over three minutes now in terms of the amount of time that this has taken. On your data sheet, it asks you to record a time for both of them to dry. We're not gonna watch the water dry fully because we could be sitting here forever, but we're getting close to the point of the rubbing alcohol being dry.
definitely about as exciting as watching paint dry, right? It's almost there. How are you? All right. All right, guys, we're down to just a tiny little drop. And it's been just under six minutes at this point, so I'm going to cut this off. But know that the Rubbing alcohol is what dried fastest, and you can put in six minutes for your time for the rubbing alcohol. I would just say plus six minutes for the water. 